you are invited to feed Harvest channel. <laughs> They look a little different than the herring. The herring got a, they're not as durable. When the net's tangled up like that, you gotta fix it. Sure. Get another bottle batch like that, we'll probably get ready to fish. Mm, yeah. That's how we catch our fish, with some real fish. Smelts or no? No, they're greenbacks, uh, sardines. Okay. Oh, greenbacks or sardines? Put that on. This is the frosting. No, no, put it on. Put it on. Girl, that's gonna smack them. That's gonna lay the smack down on them. Get ready, this is gonna be a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, I always bring it to the other side of the net so I don't have to take it over there. Heck, you're gonna see that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at all those fish. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. That's it, we're fishing. That's, That's a big load. Look at that, Yanni. That's a big load. Good job, guys. And look at that big one. Got some big ones in there. That's a pen fish, that big one. Yeah. That's it, we're fishing. Somebody's got to do it. There he goes. Nice. Yeah, we just hope there's lots of 
white bait in that. As the sun comes up, it's been harder to catch bait, but we're still getting some here and there. Yep. It'll add to the collection. transported over, get the boat cleaned, and get ready for our clients for the day. Yeah, I see that. That's amazing. There's John in there. Look at them. This is the front seat. Girl, that's good snack. That's gonna lay the smack down on him. Get ready, this is gonna be a lot. That's why I always bring it to the other side of the net so I don't have to take it over there. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at all those fish. Make another throw on this one. Teaching people to be quiet when they're approaching the fish. It's a hard thing to get people to understand. These greenbacks. We got a million names, filters, white baits, green bags, China. The technical name is scale sardines. And they're gonna be the right type on the pole. For me, with this, I feel like you gotta be willing to lose your net. Throw it so close. Get the good baits. That's what we we'll do this time here. About as perfect of a throw as you can get. Got them pretty good. Hopefully you the right one. Red pins. Oh, fishing, we call that a beach shot. Look at this other pole out here. See if it's got more green bags. Hey, grunting there. That's hard, heavy work. Wow. Lots of thread pins. That's one reason why we chill on the grass. It takes a little longer. The bait's got a little better quality when we're chilling on the grass. Mm -hmm. All throughout the day, I'll be going through this live well, picking out the thread pins. And I'm going to drive over. There's one more hole. Ballyhoo as far as inside the net. Now, as I've got the ballyhoo as far as in the net itself, what I want to do is I'm going to walk them up the side of the boat, and this is where professional mates have a hard time where they don't grab the net in the procedure what I want to show you right now. Now, the, now, what you want to do is you want to pull the net all the way up until you can get the horn as far as in your hand. Now, as I have the horn in my hand, I'm going to slide the net down about halfway. Halfway when I'm looking at the ballyhoo, I've got the bag to the point where the, ba the net is actually creating a bag around the ballyhoo as far as over there. Now you see me shaking the bag as far as over there because ballyhoo has a very, very pointed beak. So you want to get them all down in the bag as over that you're seeing them swimming around inside the cast net. We take a half, half wrap around right where the leads are and we're going to pull the bag or the cast net into the boat with the ballyhoo, dropping them into the well. We've had a successful...